Alright, so, back to this, and yeah, um, if I'm being honest, this will probably be the last video for, again, quite some time, right? Well, I don't want to say quite some time, but a while, simply because, again, with the previous video, with that chapter of you, brings us up to speed with where it is today, right? Fully caught up. And this video is kind of just going to go over kind of just everything up until this point, you know, kind of just thoughts and opinions on the series thus far from where we came from to where we are now to where it could potentially go, as well as just kind of random like miscellaneous thoughts um, and stuff that particularly I didn't mention in the previous video because with the last chapter of you video, I kind of brought some of this stuff up, but I, I wanted to make a definitive separate video, right? Um, again, simply because this is going to kind of be a catch-all video. I don't want to make, because I've been making volume and, like, chapter review videos pretty frequently, I don't feel need to make, like, three or four separate black screens on just post, you know, because I'm probably not going to make a video on another volume or chapter until the actual series is over. But again, right, this is going to kind of be that bridge or like link or gap from whenever you know where we are now to whenever i end up finishing this series or the series itself finishes up and i can make videos then but again with that <clears throat> we can just get into it and again kind of starting off with some random like miscellaneous comments and one thing i wanted to note i have no clue what the fuck happened to the art style of the manga this is something i only real really recently noticed the art style really fell off. Like, in the interesting thing there is I didn't start reading the manga till chapter, like, till after the entire first year, which is about chapter 120. And from, I don't, I can't, because I can't pinpoint when exactly it happens, but from that point to, you know, again, now where we are, I don't know if they change, like, artists, but the art quality is, like, severely degraded. I don't know how else to put it, but it's just, like, not there. And it's something I didn't really notice. Granted, you still have, obviously, the same... You have serious art style and then, you know, um, not serious art style, right? But th in terms of the actual quality of, like, the drawings themselves, they've just gone down. And, like, I don't know why. There's probably a reason for it. But, again, it's just something I've noticed. Yeah, let's start off with some kind of negatives and critiques first, right? Get those out of the way, then get into everything else. Um... Because they didn't really bring this up in the last one. So maybe this will just be a critiques video of up until this point. But that that's the first thing, right? Second thing, and this is something to where I kind of pointed that this out ever since we finished the confession sequence, right? Back in, like, chapter whatever. Um, the pacing for the actual story has been, like, very wonky. It started out pretty bad or kind of bad. Like... But now it's it's something to where and it's gotten to the point towards I mean, I just think at this point they're just kind of filling they just have kind of like filler till the end and trying to just get to those hundred friends, get to the end of high school, right? Again, it, it seems like and this was again kind of I guess the the repercussions and drawbacks of that confession being so early on. Um, it's something to where Again, now they're just trying to reach that point. And again, it's something to where we've really kind of gotten less and less meaningful in, like, again, like, interaction as the story has gone on, you know. But because I'd say it's kind of peaked with that second year when you had the whole love triangle, you know, confession sequence. You had most of our characters being introduced actually, like, you know, contributing and being part of the story, but now it seems like, again, it's kind of almost reverted back to the first year, where it's like, and again, I'm going years, because I don't remember the individual chapters, I'm going based on the chronology and timeline of the story, but where it's like, it, it just seems like we have kind of a ton of just, like, filler, like, to kind of just bring us to, like, the end of the manga, which, I don't know if that's actually the case or what's going on, but again, it, it is something that I've kind of noticed, um, I mean, the last kind of big character that we had kind of appear that actually had an impact was Kawaii, but it wasn't as big as she could have had given how late she was introduced. So I'd say she was really kind of the last big like character with her kind of arc in terms of being a rival with Komi, 
was like the last big sort of thing we got. But after that, again, you know, just... I'm not going to lie, the Among Us thing was so hilarious, though. But besides the point, so, again, beyond that, right, there's that. And kind of the, I guess, other thing, you know, and what else there, right, is... So we see that, but then uh, another thing I'll, I'll kind of say, you know, um, shoot, what it, what it, there was something else I wanted to say. Um, I don't know. There, there was something else I wanted to say or bring up. This is going to bother me now because I'm not going to be able to remember it. Um, again, it's like, yeah, what, I guess, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, shit. There were, what, what? Dude, I swear I must have, like, memory loss or something. There was something I wanted to bring up that I forgot about. I I don't remember. I don't remember. I guess, yeah, just... um, Because we're, we're going kind of on critiques now, right? I guess the, the, the other thing in... Well, I mean, you know my main critique of the story above anything else, right? In what I mentioned thus far is the fact that Komi wasn't the one to be able to confess to Dodano. I feel like that's such a blatantly obvious thing that they missed. But, again, right? Beyond that, it's something to where what that kind of ends up coming down to there. Or like, I guess the bigger thing with that is, um, and again, you know, just more, I guess we're, we're kind of getting into more of that uh, territory, right? Um is again, you know, it's something to where it's like, I, I guess it, it's a question of, you know, future, right? Um, again, because it, it, it's something to where I, I talked about this. I don't think it's going to go beyond high school, right? If maybe if they do, to be fair, it's a series that's also eight years long at this point, right? Eight years in the running. So like, it's not like it's recent. Like this is something to where it's like, this. so I assume they're going to wrap it up and then probably be done. But if they ever continue the story, it would have to be in like the future, like, there would have to be some sort of time skip, right? So, it would be something to where, again, kind of the thing there is, you know, I guess, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, how, my I guess my question and kind of wondering is how they would do that. You know, it, it's something to where, I, I think what would be interesting is, again, we see, um, if you go way back to Tadano's, like, daydream about, you know, basically being on a date with Comey and them, being together in the house, right, cooking, right, but <clears throat> basically the point I'm trying to make is the series isn't really setting itself up for success outside of, you know, this story that we got, which isn't bad, you know, it's not the worst thing, right, I mean, look at Takagi-san, it's pretty much the same way, we only get the cut to the future where we see them together with the kid, right, you know, but it is something that I want to point out, because when you put this much time and effort into I mean eight years is quite a bit of time you know it's something to where you you you're committed at that point you definitely do want to you know give potential for there to be more right you know versus if you're like all right this is going to be a quick you know thing you spend a couple maybe few years on it you know you're not that committed you do it get it out of the way you know yield good results and then you're done but you know for eight years right it's hard to do something for eight years and let go let's put it that way so again i i just don't really see this is a more again a more minor thing right but you know again that's just something i wanted to point out and again what comes down to there and the big thing with and, and kind of what uh, the stuff i brought up thus far is that it's like you know this is kind of stuff i've noticed as the stories progress particularly from the post-confession sequence Again, I still think the biggest flaw, bigger than anything combined, is the fact that Comey wasn't the one that confessed to Dodano. Because it seemed like pretty much after that, we saw the change in Comey's character, right? You know, but it's also something where it seems like she was robbed of that moment, which would actually kind of justify that change and or give more validation. Because it is something where it seems like the change in a character kind of, I don't want to say comes out of nowhere, because it's as a result of her and Dodano, right? But it is something to where it just, it, it seems like that's the case. But again, you know, we know that's the reason for it. But there would be a lot more kind of justifiability, I guess. Or there would be a lot more, you know, what's the term? Um, I guess there there would be a lot more connectivity there. We could make those connections if that was the case, which just wasn't. And again, it just seems like such a brain dead obvious thing. So again, right, in... I'll say, yeah, so that's, again, just the 
But that's something I've always brought up, and it's something nowhere again. But it, the, the stuff I wanted to bring up, particularly in this video, kind of for critiques, was those previous ones that I just kind of noticed as, you know, I was reading in kind of time progressing the manga. But with that, and, and I will say, here's what I'll say. Staying on the topic of critiques, you know, for as much as I hate the dog shit and bullshit criticism that, like, you know, the whole Bochi or, like, let's say Watamoto or Mote, I don't know. I don't even remember that. I need to watch that show and, you know, make videos on it, right? Uh, for as much as I think, you know, their criticism is bad, it's criticism is still criticism. You know, it is something to where it's not a realistic portrayal of, you know, this kind of stuff, right? Again, as, like I've said, you know, I don't, like, you know, it's not about realism. It's about, again, bringing attention, you know, by making it, you know, applicable to, like, uh, consumed by a wider audience, you know, that's, that's how media works for entertainment and enjoyment. And again, the big lesson there is that it's, yeah, you know, how much of a difference or impact one person can make. But again, it still is unrealistic, right? You know, um, even though Bochi and Wanamoto itself are both unrealistic too, right? You know, just not as unrealistic, right? People, people, again, it's the whole literally Bochi or this, you know, I don't even remember the girl's name. I, I really need to watch that one specifically, right? Um, where it's like literally me, but, you know, again, the fact that it's in a fictional saying in, in anime, right? You know, but, but yeah, besides the point, but it, it still is a point to be made right there, there's still a point to be made there and it's something to where i will say in the beginning when it was the whole cult you know comey cult thing was over the top right it was pretty annoying in the middle of the story it wasn't too bad like and it didn't like it wasn't really apparent and then it kind of picked up again near the end you know but again it's something to where the times we do, you know, it, it's something where you can just ignore it and block it out, right? I hate to say it, but it is something to where it's that is still valid criticism there for that. So that is something I want to acknowledge because I've been kind of defending, you know, I'm, I've been defending Comey can't communicate pretty hard uh, from those from that angle, at least. Right. But it's something to where I do need to acknowledge it. So since, since we're kind of the topic of critiques, but now again, you know. It's something where I guess now the big thing again, you know, I've already went over kind of all the pros, right? You know, again, just very much something to where again, like I said, the, the real, you know, sort of lesson is how much of a difference or impact one person can make. Ask the question, where would Comey and Tadal be if they never met each other? Again, that's, that's all you need to ask and you can start theorizing about it. But that's really, you know, what it comes down to. And I, I use the example in the last video for those chapter reviews. Think about the probably excluding your family. I think about the person who's had the most important impact on your life in effect in your life. I'd say probably my high school wrestling coach, you know, <clears throat> and think of that person. You just never mean them and how different your life would be, you know, but there's that, right? As for other, you know, pros, right? I mean, again, because I'm so glad they come into the timeline chronology thing because we really see the progress, you know, and progression that has happened in the series, right? And things that have happened again, it, it's something to where, you know, the big thing with that, again, we really see just everything that has happened, right? You know, how much has changed. And especially a, a very smart thing that they did was they repeated events during the years. So you could just go back to the previous year's event and really see the difference there, right? And again, it, it's something to where what it comes down to with that is, again, it, it's something to where you just really see, and particularly, again, as it's really for Comey, right? You know, we see just how much progress she's made, right? And especially looking at where she is now versus the very beginning, right? We can see how much of a difference her character has kind of been. So again, right, What as opposed to lots of, I'd say, you know, again, it, it seems ironic or kind of funny. For lots of characters, it seems like the goal is to try to keep them the same. Like you throw adversity at them and they stay the same, you know, but this, is, it's almost like the inverse, right? Something to where, you know, you, you see that character like growth and progression, right? To where it's like, all right, you throw adversity, or more so you're overcoming that adversity, right? You know, again, what it comes down to there, right, is it's like, you know, and it, it makes for a genuinely interesting, and what, what really keeps me invested is, again, the how much stuff has changed, right? In the fact that it will change more in the future, you know, and then obviously there's, let's be real here, right? There's the side benefit of the whole Tommy or Jesus Christ, Comey Tadano thing, right? You know, very wholesome 
shit there, right? I'm also the whole Narusi and Asia train, right? But you know, again, just also the seeing seeing that, right? Also, you know, kind of uh, plays a part into that, right? But again, because you can really kind of hit it from two angles. You have the social side and then the more you know relationship side, right? Dealing with your friends versus people who you have, you know. People who you either are or are more than friends or want to be more than friends with, you know. So, again, just, just an our pro there, right? And I'd, I'd say, you know, probably, you know, the, the last kind of pro, right, is the series does a good job enticing you and keeping you in, right? For as much as kind of, you know, again, the over-the-top nature and kind of the filler stuff can be, it wasn't really an issue except for, like, those first, like, two to eight episodes of the show, which will probably correlate to the first maybe like 70 to 80 chapters of the manga. Um, and then again, kind of near the end where it seems like everything's kind of like falling off and they're just saying up for, you know, concluding, right? And kind of being done. So, right, again, it's just, <coughs> it's something to where what we see there, right, is again, it's like, it's only really an issue at the very beginning, kind of getting to near the very end. It's just because it seems like they don't really know what else they want to do with it, right? You know, so. But with that, uh, funny enough, this is a good time to transition to kind of the last part I wanted to talk about in this video. is kind of this series moving forward, right? Um, Again, I don't know how many chapters specifically there are going to be. There could be 20, 30, 50 more. Who knows? What I do think is, again, I think I can fairly, you know, kind of anticipate or predict the events that are going to happen within the rest of the manga. I don't think it's too hard. Um, one, there's going to be some sort of, like, graduation event, right? Followed by some after party where maybe, you know, Komi and Tadano, like, they officially kind of, like, we need to see an official kiss between them. Let's put it that way. They need to seal the deal there, right? We've kind of gotten robbed of that in the past. Um, so there's that, right? Uh, the other thing is, obviously, Komi's going to make 100 friends. She needs 20 more. We're going to see 20 more. Um... You know, shouldn't be an issue. They'll just spam a ton through at the end. Um, and again, you know, there there will be some sort of final, like, festival or, like, some, like, event with, you know, the group. Or, you know, likely some, like, maybe, like, college, like, entrance, you know. I don't want to say, like, party, but, like, maybe some, like, college entrance exam, you know, application, like, ceremony, something like that. You know, they get, like, their reaction. And, again, probably with Komi and Tadano going to the same college. What'd be interesting is if they did it, I guess it doesn't matter because they probably end the series anyway. Cause again, I really don't see it going past high school, but it'd be something to where it would just, again, it would put that out there and leave that potential and option for a future regarding again, any sort of other side stories they may make. But it is something to where I really don't think we're going to see much more out of this show, story or manga. Right? I think it's pretty much where it isn't concluded. I think it did a pretty good job overall. Like, I think it did nearly as good as it could have been. I think the main big flaw and critique that I still have is the fact that Komi wasn't the one to confess to Tadano. I still don't know why they didn't do that, but it's something where I think that would correct for a lot of the problems in that confession sequence. Uh, I made a video on that, as well as kind of moving forward with the story a lot of, you know, some of the kind of more minor, I'd say, critiques I have later on in the story could be corrected or at least kind of have more of a explanation or rooting based off of that. But again, right, it's something to where this will probably be the last video I make on this series for some time. I mean, I'm just going to read each chapter when it comes out and probably not do another review until, you know, we maybe are done with the whole thing. But again, we'll see, right? We'll see. So <coughs> with that, right, it's nearing 20, and I think I'm going to end it. I don't really got much more to say there. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.